All right, folks, welcome back to Couple Movie Watchers. In today's video, I'm going solo and I'm going to discuss Resident Evil. I'm going to break down all seven Resident Evil movies by domestic box office numbers. So, we're going to find out which Resident Evil made the most money. Is it your favorite? And which Resident Evils made the least amount of money? So, coming in at number seven, we have Resident Evil, Welcome to Raccoon City, which grossed a little under $17 million at the box office. Very huge disappointment when it comes to this particular film, uh, when it comes to their box office numbers. It didn't hit the mark. A lot of people were hating on the trailers when it first came out as well. I haven't seen it, so I definitely want to know your thoughts in the comments below. How do you rank this movie? Is it last on your list? or do you think it should have did better than what it actually did at the box office? Next up, we have Resident Evil, the final chapter, which we know is a lie because we had the movie that came out in 2021. This movie came out in 2017. So that's basically four years later, they came out with a reboot. This particular movie made $26 million at the domestic box office um, in total. In 2017, mm, not too great. I definitely expected more from this movie, but it is what it is. Moving on, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. I talk about box office weekend results, movies, TV shows, and more. And enough about the sales pitch. Let's jump right back in to this video. So coming in at number five is actually my favorite Resident Evil movie. Grossing $40 million at the domestic box office. I love this film out of the whole franchise. I think this was my personal favorite. Uh, let me know if you agree with me or not in your thoughts below. This movie opened in 2002, almost 20, actually just about 20 years ago, which is insane to think about. This franchise has been around for a long time. Next up on our list, we have Resident Evil Retribution. This movie grossed $42 million at the domestic box office. Opening weekend, it opened up to $21 million. So it did a little bit better. Not too shabby. And this movie came out in 2012. Next on the list, we have Resident Evil Extinction. This movie grossed $50 million at the domestic box office, opening up to $23 million in 2007. Not too shabby, you know, which was a little bit better than the other films when it comes to their box office results. Next on the list, we have Resident Evil Apocalypse. This movie came out in 2004, grossing $23 million on its opening weekend, in total, it made $51 million. So, this movie definitely did pretty well at the box office. But, last on our list, at the number one spot, can you guess what it is? Which one do you think is going to be number one? If you guess it, you guess it correct. That's Resident Evil Afterlife. This movie came out in 2010, about 12 years ago. Is still holding on to that number one spot. Uh, it's kind of came in the middle of all the other Resident Evil films, grossing $26 million this opening weekend. In total, it made $60 million at the domestic box office. It has an IMD score of 5.8. Not the highest, not the lowest, but it is what it is. And overall, love them, hate them. You know, they do give you some, you know, I enjoy some of them for purely for what they are. Uh, but let me know your thoughts below. Do you think the domestic box office represent your favorite films? Or let me know what are actually your favorite films when it comes to the Resident Evil series. Are you surprised by this ranking when it comes to how much money Resident Evil made at the box office? Uh, let me know. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to share. It's like and subscribe. Until next time, everybody, have a good one. I'm out.